Ian Van Duy against Arvin Alcantara. So this is a semi-final match. The winner of this match goes to the finals. So both of these firm will be first match assignments. In red armor from the Philippines, Alcantara Arvin. Okay. This looks like a, a really good slab bag uh, affair. Both reaching their uh, uh, semi-finals matches through uh, pretty good wins in the quarterfinals. Alcantara was a winner over Raja from Singapore earlier today. You saw that match. And now we're going to see Arvin Alcantara all over again. If Arvin were a racing car, I think he's going to be... Uh, sort of notching up his gears uh, a, a tad here now. Uh, I can see from uh, his facial expression. Whereas a while ago, he was just uh, sort of uh, feeling it out, warming up now. Uh, and also, this, now he's, he's uh, become a little bit more serious. The Vietnamese guy, but I, I feel, uh, though I haven't seen him fight in the, uh, the previous bout, he looks dangerous as well. Philippines safely already with okay. one Jin in the semis. Again, I'm looking at it from afar, from the height perspective, the Vietnamese player looks a lot taller than uh, but I don't know, they have to stand uh, head to head though. Okay, he is. But no worries, Arvin has been up against uh, infinitely taller players as well, but it's really how they use it. That's uh, when the danger comes in. Meaning Arvin will have to uh, raise the bar in terms of getting in, getting out, and uh, scoring. Meanwhile, the Vietnamese fighter has to use his length and keep uh, Arvin at bay and score ahead if possible. Semi-final underway here. The Philippines up against Vietnam. Ooh, they're exchanging out in kicks here. Both know they can actually land them if they're given the, the proper uh, chance. All those uh, techniques thrown, not a single point yet. Vietnam on the board. Okay. Arvin uh, putting pressure. Although Vietnam, see. Sometimes people putting pressure doesn't actually get you on the scoreboard there. The Vietnamese was able to score via a counter. But he was moving out of the mat, out of the, the ring, and the, the referee uh, warned about, it, about that. Okay, too well. They tied it to a piece. Almost a minute gone here in round number okay. one. Arvin threw a punch which actually scored. It is now 3-2 for the Philippines. Okay. The Vietnamese fighter probing, probing, and then turns it into a roundhouse. Doesn't get the desired effect. He'll try again. I feel the Vietnamese has a dangerous turning sidekick, which uh, Arvin has to be careful uh, of. <laughs> Arvin tried his own turning side, but he lost his balance there. Vietnamese is now up by one. Anthony, this is an interesting fight because the Vietnamese is not fighting like he's a taller fighter. He is fighting based as a fighter. Uh, I'm sure Del Rosario would love him. Back leg 45s, turning sides, and the, the, the 
if he does do a front-legged technique of doing a cut, a sidekick cut, it will, he can immediately convert it into a, a strong roundhouse. Interestingly, it's the same style that Arvin has. And so that is what makes these two fighters really interesting uh, because both of them, they're not really that far apart. Uh, I kind of like the Vietnamese style because he has that bit of a flash of an old school fighter, an old school martial artist. Uh, he will exchange 45s, he will exchange roundhouses, he will hammer home with a jumping turning sidekick, and he will not rely on length of just, of you know, uh, doing Nambi Pambi uh, cutting kicks uh, just to keep his opponent at bay. This is going to be a, uh, I mean, Armin has his work cut out for him. Uh, this is what uh, I think may the best man win. Uh, they, whoever gets uh, the, the bricks on his side, a bit of luck on his side, because uh, your technique will have to land, and just keep on uh, hammering in there. And both look like they have heart. You can tell from the look in their eyes. Yep. Uh, Arvin tried uh, turning side there, which uh, uh, he didn't complete. Maintains pressure. That is dangerous. So now he's marked. This is a technique which Arvin is very good at. He will push you out of the, the ring. Because if you do that too often, you actually lose points. And it's actually not good psychologically because it means that you are being, uh, how do they call it? LeBron James does that a lot. Uh, bullied. He, you're being bullied. <laughs> you don't like that. It, it, it doesn't set a good tone in a match or in a fight. About 30 seconds oh. gone here in the second round. Okay. He lost the score though, but uh, I think Arvin's out in score and the, the Vietnamese coach is uh, protesting. Right? This may be another case of holding before kicking. We're going to review this one. Well, this is a... Yeah. See? See, there you go. This is a, uh, the modern, this is a very contentious issue in the modern sp uh, sport of Taekwondo, the electronic system. Now there's a lot of pushing. You can, before, during our time, you can punch before kicking. Now they actually tend to push before doing the kicks. There are a lot of times the push actually deteriorates into a grab. And that's why they need the, uh, the, the slow motion replays to see if that push did not actually become a grab you know, so, and before you threw a technique. So it was rejected. They felt it was a push. Actually, I felt it was a push as well because if you saw uh, Algin's hands, they were just open. They, I mean, they, they were just pressed against the body. He wasn't grabbing part of the armor or the dobek. The dobek's were uniform. The Philippines up by three, seven to four is our tally. But if you were the coach of the time, what would you do? You don't have to protest it anyway, that's part of your job. Philippines still with a slim lead here. Yeah. Slim lead, which should go either way. Almost a minute gone here in the second round. I still didn't put it over this Vietnamese to pull something off. He looks athletic enough, really, and uh, veteran enough to, uh, you know, has a veteran air about him to actually do something. Which is why Arvin is being very careful. See, he just goes there, scores a point, flinches. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for defiance. That's what he's doing. Not doing anything flashy, not getting too cute. Roundhouse that protecting at all times his Hogu, his armor, that he doesn't get scored on as he's throwing a technique. That is another uh, thing that marks the veterans from the, you know, the, those who are not yet that season. It's easy to throw a point, to throw a uh, to score, but the, the trick is, and it's the same as in boxing, to get hit but not get hit because it's useless. Mm. Yeah, your lead can evaporate and you're not uh, sustaining momentum. Arvin actually is very good at that because he was better than uh, uh, nature. 
See, basically, he's there, he's there, then he's there. He, uh, he after throwing his kick, what's what's the Vietnamese guy gonna do? He can't throw anything. His kicks are, his uh, counters are overshooting the mark. Under 20 seconds to play, it is 12 to four. See, he, there, there he is again. And it's illegal to push. It's legal to push. And he's being warned because the Vietnamese is becoming frustrated now that, hey, what the heck, I can't throw anything. And so now that he's the one grabbing. And that is deliberate on Arvin's part. <laughs> very uh, wily, very wily veteran. That turning side didn't have standard chance. Okay. Round two is going to come to a close. Now the Vietnamese is getting frustrated. He has to do something. I think the first round he was doing it better. He was countering with speed, athleticism. But uh, it looks like Arvid has a, a hidden gear. A hidden gear of sorts. He suddenly went in third gear or something. In or second. Uh, from Cambodia, Jung Alaito. See, that's the beauty of Arvid. He prevents the player, he scores, and prevents the player from countering because he's already, uh, uh, he's turned his back, uh, rendering the counter boot, and I can dead actually. And then clinches, so next play. So he'll just do it one play at a time until the end of the fight because he's targeting the, the finals. Third and final round coming up here. Alcantara from the Philippines up against Vietnam's win. Okay, this is the final chance for the Vietnamese fight. Sizable lead here by the Philippines, and we're underway. Nope. 13 to 6 is our tally. Arvin has read the Vietnamese fighters turning side very well. See, he, he, there's no chance in hell he's going to hit it for that because Arvin can see it from a mile away. And then he's been bullied a la LeBron outside again. So that can't be good for him. The Vietnamese just can't get his game going here. That's a frustrating feeling, really. And then he's bullied outside again. That he cannot permit that to happen to him. So he, look, and then he's, he, he stops as if he's tired. He looks like he's, uh, you know. Uh, Arvin will pick you, pick you to pieces with that guy. There we go. He's being bullied. He's being pushed. <laughs> and the fight is deteriorating fast. Uh, Maybe I spoke to you, so maybe during the first round as well, he should have fought a taller man's fight by using a, a front-legged technique. I think he tried to athletic, you know, uh, become to out-athlete Arvin, and it didn't work. 17-6 is our tally. And now he's tired, see? And now he's frustrated. And I believe the victim is fine. If a uh, semi-final fight should be doing more. And he hates that, the way Arvin is wrestling him, he hates it, see? <laughs> He's becoming tired and, and probably is uh, angry at the referee. Why uh, he's being you know, wrestled by Arvin and not being called him. <laughs> oh, and then he gets punched in the chest. And that took the win out. And that took the win out. 17 to 6 is still our tally. 45 seconds remain. Looks like the Philippines might just have another gin in the finals in day number two of the Taekwondo competitions. When is huffing and puffing? Looks like he's uh, drooping there already. I think the first, it's, it's not just I, th I think physical, the mental aspect of trying to chase Arvin is really taking its toll on him on the Vietnamese spider. That's a, a modern 45, which scores. Okay. 
Jesus, Arvin is in fact, come on, come on, let's part. Come on, let's give the guys a show. It's okay. It's and to think that Arvin will still be competing a little bit later oh, on yes, yes. with the win here. These guys are young. Match 108, <laughs> winner, the Philippines. Arvin Alcantara from oh. the Philippines, now safely in the finals. He, you can see. He really, uh, that one, I think he outclassed the, the, thi the, the, thi the Vietnamese spider there. He sort of uh, read him uh, in the first round and proceeded to uh, raise the gears the second and third. Yeah, that's classic Arvin. You know? a, that is a bullying technique out there. Man. A jumping, a flying front kick. <laughs> and to front kick you out of the octagon. So.